Well, the more recent patterns continue to look very bullish here for Bank of Queensland. We were looking for higher prices following our last review, which was just in this region right here. And as can be seen, that's exactly what's transpired. The reason we weren't overly inclined to jump on was because of the resistance just above. It's more of a zone of resistance as opposed to a line just beneath this $13 region. And in reality, this area needs to be cleared before really opening the door for another strong leg higher and that's really what we're looking for. So we'll just take the count from the low of wave X. This is really the strong impulsive movement higher that caught our attention. That completes wave 1 or A and then a pretty textbook ABC correction to the downside. So there we go, a three wave movement down right there. Just broke down through the wave equality projection by a small margin. Didn't quite tag the 50 to 61.8% retracement zone but the mere fact we had seen this three wave movement down did suggest that the corrective phase had done its dash and uh, that we were going to see impulsive price action so certainly still on track and even at lower degree it could be argued that we're seeing another small five wave movement higher so this would be one two up to the wave three four and a wave five ideally completing at slightly higher levels and then what i want to see is a sideways meander above old resistance new support so ultimately from these lows what i'm looking for ideally are slightly higher prices just give us little leeway to see retracement and once that resistance is overcome it becomes support then we can look for a consolidation pattern maybe even a zigzag abc to the downside both very bullish propositions indeed and then looking for price to zip higher again from there what we're looking for as an absolute minimum is a leg very similar to this one from low wave x up to the high of wave one or a from the subsequent low point and that will take us up to around that 15 dollar region as an absolute minimum ideally above that level and again if we're seeing a more impulsive movement from these particular lows then we're going to go well above what's actually shown on the chart here so bank of queensland at the moment trending well the only slight concern over the short term is some type a bearish divergence so we can see that price has made a high high and our oscillator has failed to confirm by making a lower high not a deep v so not an absolutely textbook example but it is in position having said that it has yet to trigger if this prior pivot low here is overcome that divergence triggers and it could well be that we're going to get our wanted sideways consolidation but for the moment the pattern's looking bullish just watching this divergence but not major reason for concern.